Hello everybody. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And it's getting pretty fishy around here. Uh, we're at the uh, the new tank. New old tank. And uh, done a lot of work to it. But this one here has been reinforced on the top of it. And uh, but I wanted to do a video on cleaning your wave maker. A good way of make or cleaning a wave maker because them things can be a pain to, to clean because of all the screening. So you're going to get a little bit of stuff in here that's going to go through your filter, hopefully. Uh, but I don't want to cram a lot of that stuff into my filter because I don't like changing that filter once a year. Uh, that's usually what I do once a year, and it, my tanks look good all the time. Oh, my crawdad's out. Let me get a video of him real quick. He hasn't been out for a while. I haven't seen him for a long time, and he's getting pretty daggone big. Look at him. He has a tunnel going down where he's taking all the gravel. See all these piles of gravel that what he's setting on all this stuff right down here all this piled up here was all level when I first started he has moved all the gravel out from underneath that and pushed it all out here and took it all out from underneath the log and everything and it's all open underneath there so he's made himself a hell of a home underneath that log, and he's got two entrances to it. But we're going to clean the wave maker. And uh, I'm going to show you a simple way of doing that. So basically what I've got here is a toothbrush. and a straight brush that I've bent into a U-shape so that I can clean the grill on it. All right, then I've got a straight one just in case I need it that I bent to a 45 or 90 degree angle. So, <clears throat> and then we've got our net. All right. So the easiest way to do this, let me move this uh, light over a little bit. So I just take my net and put it right in the blow zone. And we're going to start off with the toothbrush. But you got to pay attention because you can actually come off of that sweet spot because you want all that air blowing into the net so i'll just start here at the back and just start loosening that up see it going into the every time i hit a piece of that dirt and knock it loose it goes into the net so then I'll go down here as far as I can and get that. And come on down here to the bottom as far as I can get. And then we'll do the other side the same way. That is where you start running off with your net. Alright, so then we'll just come over here and start doing this one. And now I got a fish in there. Get out of there. Don't you get trapped and then I have to empty all my stuff out just to get you out of the net. See, it just the wave maker blows it right into the net.
All right, so now we'll take the other brush and come underneath here. and get the rest of it. I see a piece in here floating, but it's not catching. But that's about as good as I, I want to mess with it. You just massage it and it'll break it loose. I got one in there that don't want to come loose. All right, so I think that's about the best I'm gonna do. So I'll just get that all pulled out of there. And most of the trash is in the filter or in the uh, net. So very minimal. I mean, you got a few little floaters in there, but uh, there's very little that got into the tank. But you can see all the trash that come out of that wave maker. So uh, that's how I clean them. I'll set this down. I want to show you guys what I made for my wave maker. I went and uh, explained to you guys about the wave maker. I had it suction cup to here to the side. But the suction cups on these things are lousy and eventually from the the water keeping it it just makes it hard and brittle type and it doesn't want to stick no more so it starts sliding down the tank well i went and drained this down to about right here to uh let all this dry and i took 100 percent silicone the same tube that i used to do this seal and it broke loose after about six months. So this is what I came up with. This has got a nut on the back of it. It's stainless steel. It's also a stainless steel stud that uh, I made it so that that would mount to a bracket that's the same stuff as this little wider and then because I do these rails on mine I, I need to brush that out that's dirty but on these rails where my light slides back and forth on these blocks I got one in the middle and one on the side and they ride in this track with a groove in the middle of it and this is to keep the crawdads from crawling out, believe it or not. Uh, I have that in there. It's, it's, just some, it's a screen that came out, a layer of screen that came out of a TV. And it keeps the crawdad from being able to crawl up onto this and out. As I just found one about three, four weeks ago. And... Uh, he committed suicide. <laughs> but anyway, I made a 3D printed block here with a screw that goes down into it that holds that and then holds the bracket also. And it's probably about a uh, quarter inch away from the glass. So that was another thing that had an issue. It was when it was suction cup to it, it, it vibrated the glass a lot. So this eliminates that vibrating that glass. You don't want to vibrate your glass. So 
uh, I made both my tanks the same way because I used the same system on my other tank also. So I made another one for it. And I milled out the uh, groove so this is adjustable up and down. And uh, I just took the rubber part off of the base and uh, put a uh, threaded stud in it and put it together. So it's still on the same press on post that it came in originally with. So I think that works. I can adjust it up as high as I need, which you don't really want your water choppy too much. I see my filter needs to be cleaned. Uh, when you start seeing strings coming out of your tube like that, you, uh, that means that your filter needs to be cleaned. So, uh, this is the only one that needs it. <laughs> and it needs some attention. I gotta clean some crud up there in the corner where the tube's coming out. Get that all out of there. So. But that's a pretty quick and easy way of cleaning your wave maker. And I know that I made this a little longer than I should have, but <laughs> oh well. I better put my light back where it was. So, y'all have a good one. Later.